Hello everyone. Today we'll be bringing you a review of the Pilot Friction. That's Friction with an X. Friction Ballpoint Erasable Gel Ink Pen. It's fine point, 0.7 millimeters, in black ink. So, a few things about the pen first. You can see the uh, design is kind of bold here. Um, more than your typical pen, I guess you would say. Big Friction logo. These markings here on the pen actually kind of remind me of like a tribal tattoo or something along those lines. It's interesting to say the least. Um, so obviously the big selling point for this pen is this little nub here which is not technically an eraser, it's just what is used to um, basically remove the ink from the paper without traditional pen or pencil erasers that we would see in, in a pencil or in an erasable, other erasable pens. Um, they advertise that you can erase and rewrite repeatedly without damaging documents with no wear or tear. And this is accomplished by their thermosensitive gel ink formula that uh, disappears uh, by erasing with friction, obviously. Um, it is a gel ink ballpoint pen. So, we can get started on the review. You can see the cap here. It's a fairly tough clip. Um, I think it actually might be a little bit too tight. I could see this breaking fairly easily if you uh, kind of pulled on it a little too much. Uh, it would definitely hold you know, into your pocket very well though. The pen is refillable. And screw right here. There's the refill. Very simple. We do have a uh, rubber comfort grip here, along with uh, little divots for extra grip. Pen feels fairly comfortable in your hand. Um, one thing I'll point out before we start, uh, if you notice I put the cap on the pen, and well we can't get to that little eraser nub now. I think that's a somewhat poor design feature here, especially because the shape of the cap would pretty much perfectly fit the uh, that little eraser there. So if you want to erase, you actually have to take take the cap off. Not a big deal, but a little bit of an annoyance and somewhat pointless given that the this nub could have very easily gone right there. But nothing we can do about that. So let's see how it writes. So, our first impressions of how it writes is not good. Um, we get a ton of skipping with this. Um, as you can see in writing the solid lines here, it almost can't even do a full solid line for a long period of time. It starts to either fade or skip. Why don't you uh, try and go for any length. Um, even in the text that we wrote, you'll see uh, a good bit of skipping here. The ink flow is not consistent at all. Um, there are some points where it it looks like it's you know a pretty good uh, pretty good boldness and uh, pretty good consistency, and then right after that it kind of trails off. When we're writing uh, in cursive and the pen is not leaving the page, it tends to be a little bit better in terms of the skipping. So we're kind of writing uh, quick short lines here. And that comes out a little better. The slower you write and the more you push it seems to come out better. It seems to eliminate some of that skipping. Regardless, even when we eliminated the skipping, um, we notice the, uh, the color of the ink is not great. Yeah, this is a black ink pen, but it actually almost looks like it's uh, we're writing in grayscale here. Um, it's not dark at all. It's not bold at all. Um, it, it looks very watered down and faded almost, even immediately after we put it on the paper. Um, I was somewhat disappointed with that. Uh, I wasn't expecting, since it's an erasable pen and being sold as an erasable pen, 
Uh, I didn't go into this expecting, um, you know, kind of the darkest, boldest lines out there. Um, didn't expect it to be anything special, but uh, it actually still fell short of expectations and was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. So I was disappointed by that. As you can see, we still get a, little, a lot of skipping in the lines here. The more, it seems to be, the more you pick your pen off of the paper, uh, the worse the skipping is going to be. When we leave the pen on the paper, it seems to be much better. We can get short kind of periods here where it's uh, right without skipping if you push down a little harder and uh, don't take the pen off the paper. You can get it to be a little bit darker, but still not great. Um, you know, compared to what you'd expect for just an average uh, ballpoint pen. So a few things about the ink. Um, this is not recommended for use on any kind of legal or office documents. Um, so that being said, do not write any checks or anything else like that. Any official signatures don't make this with this pen because of, uh, specifically because of the um, ink formula that they use with it. You're also not supposed to expose the ink to extreme temperatures, and by extreme temperatures they say less than 14 degrees Fahrenheit or greater than 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if the pen is exposed to a temperature that reaches 140 degrees, the ink will then be color colorless as you write with it. Um, to restore the color you have to cool it back down to 14 degrees, um, and then you'll get the ink in color again. So it's very, very susceptible to temperature. Um, Let's see now how the pen does in its main function, which is erasing. Well, actually, let's do a little skip test first. I'm sorry, smear test. Uh, it's not great. If you touch the ink immediately after writing, it is going to smear a bit. You're going to have to wait a good uh, three to five seconds here. And then you'll get little to no smearing. After about four or five seconds, um, you'll basically, the ink will be on the paper and no smearing whatsoever. So let's see how it does with erasing. And you can see, I almost made my own mistake there, which is trying to erase with the cap. Goes back to that little flaw there. Now the erasing I was extremely impressed with. Um, as opposed to a traditional pen eraser or even pencil eraser, you get none of that little eraser dust or eraser crumbs, whatever you want to call them. None of that debris on the paper. I mean, it is perfectly clean and smooth. Nothing whatsoever. And uh, the quality of the, eras the er erasing I found to be very well. Uh, I, I really can barely see anything. here. We'll do about half of this one right down the middle. So as you can see, in terms of the erasing, it does extremely well. Uh, let's see how it did with some of the writing we did prior. Again, you'll notice more of the same. Um, as the ink itself just tends to be very full of skips and inconsistencies. It's very light. Um, it it almost looks like it's you know watered down. It looks like you're writing in like almost a a very light black ink, black ink. Like I said, it, it almost appears as if you're if you were printing a sheet of paper that you printed in grayscale. Um, that's how light the ink appears. Um, more of the same. As far as the skip test, you can see we did it by seconds here. One second, I'm sorry, skip test, um, smear test. We did it by seconds here. One second, we got a good bit of smearing. Two seconds, a little less. Three, very little. Four and on, basically none. We did some erasing prior here inside these boxes. We just uh, did a little bit of writing and did erasing. And again, as you can see, pretty much erases cleanly and completely. Very, very little marks left on the paper. You can barely see anything. I 
I've seen some criticisms of this pen before that the uh, the eraser kind of dents the paper and messes it up. I really haven't experienced anything like that myself, even writing on the same area more than once. Paper still uh, pretty clean and uh, intact. So there you have it. So, overall, in terms of the uh, writing feel and the uh, consistency of the ink, the pen kind of gets poor marks. It's it's fairly comfortable in your hand. I mean, it's not, uh, not the kind of pen that's going to wear on you writing or anything like that. It has, you know, average kind of comfort and average feel, average smooth writing feel, everything like that. Uh, it's just the consistency of the ink itself is just very, very poor. It just skips and it's very light and like I said, it, al it almost appears as if it's watered down or like a grayscale ink and not actually uh, a black ink. As far as the eraser goes, the eraser is good. Um, I would definitely recommend, it, r recommend this over um, traditional erasable pens. Uh, compared to like, say, something like the Papermate Eracermate, um, it absolutely erases better than the pen. Um, it does write a little bit worse. The eraser mate also uh, didn't write, didn't have fantastic um, ink flow and didn't have fantastic ink on the paper, but this is definitely worse. Um, this also costs more, so it's a lot of it is preference how much you want to pay. Personally, for just writing notes and things like that, I would go with the friction uh, over the paper mate. Um, it will cost about depending on uh, the quantity you buy it in, around $2 a pen, maybe a little less, as opposed to the Papermate, which will cost less than a dollar a pen. Um, but I still feel like uh, for for the main main gimmick of this pen, which is erasing, it, it does accomplish that uh, better than the Papermate does. So, overall, if we had to give it overall marks, good on erasing, poor on writing. That's That's what you have. Thanks for watching.